Today, we're going to be demonstrating a sorting algorithm called bucket sort. Though it is not necessarily the most efficient sorting algorithm in all circumstances, it is a rather effective system that, rather than attempting to sort out a whole list of information at once, subdivides it into different groups. But before I get too far into it, I'd like to call in some help. Ah, hello there, Pikmin. These are my Pikmin, and they'll be helping me today. As you can see, each of them is carrying a number in front of them. Some are big numbers, some are small, but they're all out of order. I want these numbers to be in order, but I can't do it myself. I need to rely on my Pikmin helpers. What would be an efficient step-by-step -step process I could come up with to sort this information into, let's say, lowest to highest order? This system has to be communicated to the Pikmin through easy steps, one step at a time, and they can only understand simple instructions. So how could I do it? I encourage you to pause this video here and to try and think through a system yourself. The Pikmin and I will wait for you to get back. You can trust us. All right, welcome back. How did your sorting go? There's nearly infinite different ways to create a sorting system, but only a small few are really efficient. I'm going to demonstrate a system called bucket sorting now, which will work well if the range of numbers is relatively evenly distributed. If this is the case, it should be much faster than sequentially placing each Pikmin in a growing number line for the number line would expand with every single Pikmin added, and the time taken to include each Pikmin could be astronomical as the number of Pikmin grows larger and larger. We'll start our method by counting up all of the Pikmin so we know how many Pikmin we're working with. For this example, we have exactly 20 Pikmin. Next, we need to know the range of the numbers our Pikmin are carrying. For this example, they are all integers from 0 to 99. However, we could very easily have this be higher or lower, and we could work with decimal values if we wanted to, rather than just integers. Now that we know this information, we will now create 10 areas, or buckets, in which we will organize our Pikmin. Each of these buckets we will label from 0 to 9. And we know to do this by dividing our range of values held by the Pikmin by the number of buckets we chose. Since we are dealing with numbers, it makes sense to have 10 buckets, since we are using a base 10 system. If instead our Pikmin were carrying names on their papers, we could use 26 buckets, since we would be dealing with alphabetizing the words, and there are 26 letters in the English language to work with. It's now time to sort the Pikmin into the buckets. We will look at the papers that each Pikmin is carrying and tell it to stand in the bucket corresponding to the most significant digit of its number. For each bucket, if there is no Pikmin currently standing in it and we are adding a Pikmin, that Pikmin just goes into the bucket. Any following Pikmin entering the bucket after them goes into the bucket through a process called insertion sort, which means that they would be inserted into the correct sequence of numbers compared with the already inserted Pikmin. All right, now that our Pikmin are sorted into their buckets, you just simply concatenate the buckets together in sequential order. The final list of Pikmin should be in order from the smallest number to the biggest number. Now, we could use this process with any number of Pikmin, as little as four to as many as thousands, but it works best if our numbers are evenly distributed. If we have a skew to, say, the higher end of the spectrum, then this method starts to fall apart as many of the buckets become useless and we're essentially just doing a number line anyway. But given evenly distributed data, this is a relatively fast and efficient way to sort these Pikmin. All right, well, that's that. My name is Vantage Emblem, and I hope you enjoyed this kind of off-the-wall video. I hope to see you guys soon, and I hope that you'll have a great day. Take care, everyone.
Bye.